New wood types in Minecraft are exciting. With a new wood type comes an array of new forms. And that versatility makes wood a guaranteed item in every builder's resource gathering list. So it is imperative that every new wood type looks good and bamboo looks kind of bad. The actual design is quite nice, especially the sign, but the color, the color is so bad. It's so straw and bland. I tried matching it with other blocks, but at best, it works more as an accent when it's in the dark, so you can't see how desaturated and pale the color really is. My first thought was that bamboo could be a good replication for gold trim and designs. Instead, it looks like a limp, uncooked noodle. The color needs to be changed. To solve this issue, Bamboo's color should be punched up to a dark goldenrod. It would make the golden trim idea work much better, and a dark goldenrod would match other existing blocks. I've seen some suggestions to make it green, but I think the desaturated yuck is what's weighing the block down. I do agree the game does need a green wood type. It needs a gray one more, but we should leave that for a future update. Hey guys, in the process of making this video, Mojang has added Block of Bamboo. It shows they're definitely listening to community feedback. Now, what does this change for me? Not much, because I think it looks like snot. I still think the yellow needs change. Anyway, back to the video. Bamboo is a wonderful choice for a yellow wood type. It's just currently the wrong type of yellow. Do you remember what Mangrove looked like when it was originally announced? It was pale and ugly. Now, Mangrove is a beautiful deep shade of red that matches the other blocks so well. I may have a natural affinity to red and be a little biased, but Mangrove is one of my favorite blocks to build with. I wouldn't be able to say that for the original version, and I want to be able to say this about Bamboo as well. Like I said, the actual design of Bamboo is really good. The mosaic versions in particular are a nice touch. It's the color that weakens the versatility of the block. This is the only true criticism I have for what Mojang has showed us for the 1.20 update. Otherwise, I'm enjoying the new items. I think they're all well developed, including the camel. I get the sense that they are not only implementing new ideas, but carefully considering what these ideas will do for the game and what they mean for already existing items. How it will make Minecraft, Minecraft dear, without swerving too far out there and improving the game experience. On that note, I do have a few suggestions for the update, and that's concrete slabs and stairs! Okay, so maybe that doesn't fit the theme very well. Sure, I could sit here and justify it, but there's other important additions that I know the community has been begging for for a very long time. Inventory management is a huge part of quality of life that affects every player's experience, whether they're a battle-hardened PvPer or a dedicated thousand-hour mega-builder. Currently, several items already deal with the inventory. Each of these serve a unique purpose and solves a specific problem, but players still have more need for inventory sorting than is currently available. But what could be added without destroying the value of effort and fun? A mega shulker capable of holding shulkers? A boring answer for the inventory problem, but not unwelcome. An expanded inner chest with 32 slots? Still another upgrade that's just something we have already but better. Even a 64 slot inventory could be awesome, but there's a fine line between convenience and overcomplication. If you open up your inventory and it looks like the modded experience with 100 items assaulting your vision, that could be a nauseating vanilla experience. So my suggestion today isn't a new block, but instead quality of life improvements. We've already seen them implement a few by reorganizing the creative menu. So here's one more. A sort button would be a wonderful, non-intrusive addition. In the inventory, the player may spend too much time moving things around. A sort button that sorts items and condenses same items into one stack could solve this issue easily. For a more individual experience, the options menu could have a toggle whether the sort button sorts items in the creative menu order or alphabetically. There's two more suggestions I have for the 1.20 update. One is for mining and the other is for crafting. With the deep dark, the recovery compass was created to help players locate their last death. It's extremely helpful for finding a player's dropped items after intense caving 
or exploration. Considering how dangerous the world is again, with the warden lurking below, that was a great addition. Another navigational tool that could help players explore the worlds is a teleporter lodestone. This teleporter lodestone works by allowing players to teleport between two places, and thus requires a player to craft two of this item. One could be placed at home, and another could be placed 2,000 blocks away at the entrance of a dangerous cave. These lodestones, due to their powerful adventuring capability, could be an expensive recipe, topped with a beacon and four lodestones arranged like a golem. To power the device similar to glowstone's function with a respawn anchor, it could use blocks of redstone. This is an incredibly powerful tool, but with how expansive worlds have become, it is becoming more and more important to empower players' ability to explore the depths and the heights of Minecraft. Speaking of empowering players to keep up with the ever-expanding world, we started this by talking about bamboo as the newest wood set, and how important wood is in Minecraft. After all, it's the first block you mine in the game. It's also usually the first thing you craft with. With more and more wood sets being added, a woodcutter is not only the most natural addition, it's also the most Minecrafty of everything I've suggested. The stone cutter we already have is an effective building tool that helps players create more with less, and shows how important having a tool bench for an important block line can be. For simple builds, it saves minutes. For large scale builds, it can save hours. Thanks for watching. If you like content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. I hope Mojang takes the community feedback to heart. I know I'm not the only one complaining about the bamboo color, and I'm definitely not the first to plead for inventory upgrades. But I do think the inventory quality of life changes, teleporter, lodestone, and woodcutter would be very good additions to Minecraft while fitting the theme. I didn't touch on anything to benefit storytelling, mainly because I felt the items already included in the update cover that more, and the other aspects of the game needed more love. Alright, until next time. Bye!